edition. Did the Boston Harvest 5K this morning um, down on the Gap Trail. Finished first overall in 1839.81, so we'll just call it 1840. I've um, done this race a few times now. It's on the, like I said, the Gap Trail, uh, so it's pretty flat. Um, they have a 10K and a half marathon as well. So check them out. I only did the five because obviously I can't run a half right now, at least competitively. So I just stuck with the five. Um, but eh, it was a decent morning. It was a little bit warmer than yesterday. Uh, probably about 10 degrees warmer. It's 56 right now. It's probably 50 at the start. Um, the sewage smell though around the start in like the parking area because the sewage plant they're building slash working on stunk but at least we didn't smell it during the race at all um I'm trying to think anything exciting uh nothing too exciting i know it was raining when i left my house so i was kind of uh worried that it was going to be raining down here for the race and i really didn't want to run in the rain i didn't bring a rain jacket because figured I was going to wear it during the race if it was even though I never do that um, but whatever luckily it wasn't raining at all it might have sp spit for like five seconds or something I found a couple of little like raindrops but that was it so we got lucky I think the half got some at the start of theirs because they started an hour early I think at eight yeah we were at nine so basically people are finishing about the same time roughly so you got your like 5k's coming in like the first few and then like a couple minutes later then you got your half fast people and then you got your 10k so it makes you know like everybody finishing it like sort of the same time uh, makes it a lot easier so some people were actually around more if that makes sense. <clears throat> uh, wasn't sure coming in what I was going to do. Cause my, my hip was actually a lot worse this morning for his tightness compared to yesterday. Um, stretch, just trying to stretch it out. It really didn't work. But when I jogged around, did a little bit of a warm up, I didn't notice it. So it's kind of weird that when I'm jogging and stuff, or running I really don't notice it but when I'm not it just feels weird and tight um, luckily I didn't have any issues with that there did look like there were some serious people at the start line I couldn't tell who was doing the five or the in the ten like the difference because we were wearing the same color bibs and I was like ah, I just let this be one of those days where I don't have to like put forth maximum effort I just wasn't really feeling it or motivated. Um, I was really only, obviously I want to win, but I was really only shooting for a top three today. Um, or Masters. He gave out like Masters so that would have been my first uh, Masters award, but it was a skull and I'm kind of weird about like skull displays. So definitely just wanted to keep that top three and not a masters um but there uh, i wish it's in the back seat or else i'd show you guys um, nice award um, but anyway we start as we started uh i led the actually like the whole race um, didn't think that was gonna happen really wasn't trying to push in all honesty, um, during the race, like, I wasn't, you know, trying to, like, bust my ass, like, red line, um, and I, tr going in, I was gonna run slower, or make a conservative, or whatever, not conservative, but, uh, whatever the hell word I'm supposed to use there, an effort to specifically run slower at the start let the field play out and then do my thing um, but I guess 
the way I started it was faster than I probably wanted to but not like a super fast which just put me in the lead and then I was just like ah oh, shit I was like this is this is one of those areas I was not wanting to be in but I want to I don't even know what my lap, my pace is my mileage was let me pull it up now I'm kind of curious of myself but definitely went out faster than I wanted to today so my first lap was a 603 so actually pretty slow actually now that I'm looking at the overall first mile so maybe I did maybe I slowed down I don't know what I did in that first mile or maybe I actually did go slower but then that means the field didn't take off eh, either way whatever because I even for a 5k I'm going to probably drop 535 545 is usually what I do for a first mile so 603 I'll, I'll definitely take that So that's nice. Second mile was 603, third mile 610, and then 26 seconds, I guess, for the last tenth. So obviously I slowed up a little bit, but whatever. Um, so I really didn't push too hard today. I felt like I didn't blow up or use up too much energy, um, which is awesome because I wasn't really like prepared to do that going in. Yeah, so then I was leading the whole race. I did feel somebody like right behind me. Um, and then there was a couple women at one point, like right off the gate, like right behind me. I don't know how they all separated or fell back or did whatever. And then I did feel somebody behind me, not like on my ass, on my ass, but a couple feet back. But I wasn't really going to worry about that until we made the turn. So other than that, I just ran straight the whole time. Uh, and just did my thing, trying to stay within my means and keep my heart rate low, but still running in that like six-ish minute uh, pace. And I knew I was running that six-ish minute pace after a while, because I did look down. And I was waiting for somebody to like come up and actually overtake me but it didn't happen um, and the reason why I saw it because I had to switch songs a couple of times on my mp3 player because it was just too shitty a selection um, so that's how I knew I was doing like a six minute pace a couple of tenths in um, and then finally the aid station came into view because, I mean, really on this section of the gap, there's really not much to see. It's kind of bland. There's a few little, like, driveway road crossings, but nothing that you really have to worry about. Um, but I saw the aid station. I knew that was the turnaround. And I kind of took it like a tippy-toe type thing because I felt like as I was going around it, I was sliding a little bit. Um, and it did take me... A second or two longer than it actually should have I don't, I don't know I think it's just right there with that eight station there it was kind of like more of a pinch point where I could like swing out and around I more I had to like stop and do like a 180 type turn instead of like a loop um, around like the flag and that's when I saw the guy just as like I made my turn and I had my body facing back towards the finish line direction that's when I saw that other dude come flying past and just keep going. He looked at me. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. I was like, thank goodness he's going. He, he's still going and not turning with me. And then as I'm watching, I'm like, all right, you got like 15 seconds at least of a lead. So just like maintain your pace. And that's what I did the whole time. Somehow I just like maintain that like six no, three the second mile and then that six ten to third i did look back a few times um, just to see what was happening after like big groups of people because since the 5k 
you know, a lot of people were still heading out. You know, I was passing, I couldn't really get a clear view. So I had to wait till uh, a pack of people went by. Then I could look back and I was like, all right, he's still decently far back enough where I don't have to worry yet, but don't do nothing stupid where you can let them catch you. And that's basically the mentality I kept uh, the second half of the race. So that every couple of tents, that's what I did. I would look back um, just to see how I was maintaining the gap. Then that last like 10th, I doubt it back a lot more because it's like, oh, you're starting to feel it a little bit. Just doubt it back, and I did. And still took home first. Kind of a bullshitty longer recap, but whatever. Um, the one thing I do know, the GPS was off a little bit. I don't know um, if it corrected itself yet. Probably will when I upload, but. On the way out, it was, I think it said like 248 feet at the turnaround, like descent. And I'm like, no. I knew that was off. Um, there's no way it's 240 feet. It's only like 30 or 40 just from running the race like the past years and stuff like that. I think it's because uh, before the race started, I actually didn't get my signal going until we were like underneath the bridge that we started under um, for the race. So that like interfered with it a little bit. Plus I didn't have full signal strength yet when we started the race. So yeah, I couldn't rely on the elevation gain and this uh, descent for the race. Not that I needed to, I knew it's basically flat. There's only, like I said, that 40, 50 feet of like on the way out because it's on the gap. That part of the gap trail is flat. Um, so that was something to note. Um, but, yeah, other than that, enjoyed talking to a bunch of people today, hanging out, uh, seeing the half finish and the 10K and whatever. He had some pumpkin-flavored uh, food and shit afterwards. Oh, I had a cool piece of watermelon. About choked on a seed. But I had this little pumpkin spice. I don't even know if it was pumpkin. I think it was more like just pumpkin, not pumpkin spice. But like frosting that I enjoyed. They get a bag of Funyuns to take home. Oh, yeah. Funyuns. It's always fun with Funyuns. Other than that, I guess that's my race recap. I think that's when... 5-ish something like that um, so back to back 5k wins for the weekend still healthy so I guess that's a win